In this video, I will explain to you how a dedicated credentialing team can ensure smooth cash flow. A dedicated credentialing team can address the following, adoption of credentialing standards to ensure compliance, credentialing management, ongoing monitoring, recredentialing, and payer agreements. Let's look into adoption of credentialing standards to ensure compliance. This includes establishing policies and procedures that address standards for payers published by the NCQA, as well as standards for providers published by the Joint Commission. The team can also monitor for any updates or revisions to these standards and update processes accordingly. Now let's look into credentialing management. This includes managing the entire credentialing process for credentials such as Control Dangerous Substance, Drug Enforcement Agency, Medical License, CAQH, Board Certification, Malpractice, and Hospital Privileges. In the event that a provider is not credentialed upon application, the team can appeal this decision when appropriate. Now let's look into ongoing monitoring. This includes ensuring that all requirements are met, particularly as new providers join the practice or organization. Now let's look into recredentialing. This includes developing processes to recredential providers before their current credentialing expires. Lastly, let's look into pair agreements. These agreements should outline responsibilities, develop metrics to assess performance, and identify ongoing oversight processes. Most importantly, a dedicated credentialing team ensures communication among primary stakeholders, including providers, practice administrators, coders, billers, and others. A dedicated credentialing team reduces the overall risk for the practice and ensures that there are no payment gaps. For further information kindly contact Clinic Spectrum, empowering cost-effective workflow. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Give us a call on 908-834-1608. Thank you for watching.